Hello everybody, this is Axfield here. With today's video, I'm going to give you 10 essential tips in Sengoku Dynasty that will just give you a good foundation to start with. Number 1. Build your 4 basic storages. So the 4 basic storages that you need is your general storage, your water storage, your food storage, as well as your wood storage. These storages are essential for your town to function properly and for all your people to have their needs met. Number two, refugees are found camping across the whole of the Nato Valley. So once you've accomplished uh, the quest that is given to reconstruct the bridge, you need to go to the monastery to speak to the abbot to allow you to rebuild the village. Then from there on forward, you'll be able to find refugees camping everywhere across the whole of the Nato Valley. And then from there, you can recruit them to come join your village. Number three. Higher dynasty levels equals more buildings and villages. So as you progress with your dynasty, that will in return give you the ability to bring more villages to the town as well as enable you to construct more buildings. Number four, use the ration meter to control stocks as well as the town's mood. So when you go into the dynasty menu, you'll see where uh, all your resources are. You'll have a little face uh, like a, a sad face and a happy face so what this ma basically means is it's to help you ration the food so if you do set the rationing uh, click on the the unhappy face it will cause you to ration your food which will also in return make your people more unhappy and will also decrease the productivity but if you press on the happy face it will enable you your villagers to use the food and the water and all the resources liberally and which will in return make them happier and also increase the productivity uh, with the season number five more advanced tools equals more resources so with most of the things uh, that you harvest if you've got a better quality tool you can be you are able to harvest more of that specific item so also when you assign workers on a specific job Depending on the type of tools you give them, that will also determine how much you can harvest from that specific item. Number six, planks and stones are used for the town's maintenance. So every now and, now and then, after a couple of seasons, you'll see a maintenance button pop up. And in order for you to maintain the town, you're going to have to have either planks or stones in stock. So the planks obviously within your wood storage and then the stones in your general storage. Uh, this might change in the future going forward as this is only on early access but currently those are the items that you need to maintain the town. Number 7. The smithy is unlocked through doing a quest in Iwasaki. So I don't really want to uh, give any spoilers but once you get to the town Iwasaki you will be able to speak to the people there and you need to find a specific person and then that will enable a quest for you to then unlock uh, the smithy so um, without giving any spoilers you have to go to the town Iwasaki to get your smithy number eight some production buildings require additional furniture so this is quite a unique feature within Sengoku Dynasty is that you've got a building tab which, stay, which calls itself furniture. So you will have to go to the production building furniture just to find out if there's anything else that you need for the production building specifically. Um, so for example, for the woodcutters lodge, you need a working station to enable you to craft the buckets, which is essential really for the water. So uh, just keep that in mind whenever you do build a new production building. Number nine, hunger levels affects your stamina. So basically, this is a very straightforward one. The more hungry your player is, your character that you play with, the slower the stamina regeneration. So just make sure to keep the hunger levels uh, always saturated. In that way, you'll have a good stamina um, regeneration. Number 10. Villagers become more efficient at the jobs the longer they do it. So whether they're harvesting or crafting specific items, if they continue to do the same job, over time they'll be able to produce more of the specific commodity that they are um, producing in their jobs. So just keep your villagers at the same job and then they will grow in their skills for that specific job. 
Well, that's it from me today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to press the like and subscribe button as it will help me a lot. And just also do bear in mind that this is uh, 10 tips for the early access, the initial re release of the game. These things might change over time, but I do believe most of them will definitely stay the same. Thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.